What's up, everyone? This is Todd Hazelton from Techno Buffalo. You might not recognize my name, but I am the head of mobile for the company, and I usually am on the homepage uh, writing stories. But let's just dive right into what we're doing today. This is BlackBerry 10. Big news. I just got back from the press events, and I have the Z10 unit. I honestly, I haven't opened this yet. So... Here you go, black box inside of that. I think it's unlocked because I don't see any carrier branding and didn't come with a SIM. So here's the device itself, really sleek and smooth, um, exactly what we've seen in the leaks. You've got the volume buttons on the right, nice silver accent, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top with the power button, it looks like a microphone. On the left hand side you have, wow, it's already sort of the back covers popping off if you see that I just took it out of the box in any case micro USB charging and an HDMI out nothing on the bottom that's an 8 megapixel on the back and I'll get this booted up but in the meantime you've got a 4.2 inch display on the front here that's a 1280 by 768 resolution 356 PPI under the hood oh, that's a 2 megapixel camera right there too under the hood you are rocking a dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor Let's actually lift up the hood here. It's plastic, okay? So it's not, you know, what you're going to get from an iPhone, the glass back. But here you can see the connectors there for NFC, uh, spot for a SIM card, spot for micro SD. It has 16 gigs of storage on board. You can add additional 32. I believe with the Q10, you can actually pack up to 64. Battery's not yet inserted, so I assume it's in the box. So let's quickly put this aside and go through the box. Got this velvet look here, and I'm guessing this is a... Uh, what the unlocked devices will come with, but I don't think uh, carriers will. I don't know what we have here. Stickers. You know, these are business cards, I guess, for the PR reps if we need them. BlackBerry smartphone safety guide. Uh, yada, 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 yada. Start here. Okay, well, you know, we all know how to use phones, right? What's this? It looks like it comes with a case. Okay, so typical BlackBerry fashion. I was going to say RIM, but they changed their name today to BlackBerry officially. So that makes sense. It's got a little sticker on it. Take that off. And it's got a nice little carbon fiber-ish design, but it's it's plastic or, you know, pleather. What else does it come with? Charging cable, a screen wipe, the wall wart, some headphones. Um, yeah, these are those, like, cheapo plastic ones that you could pick up for two bucks at Walgreens. And then, of course, the charger, or the battery, rather. Um, what do we have for milliamp hours? 1,800 milliamp hour battery, okay. They're promising up to 10 hours of battery life over 3G. Um, the phone does support LTE and HSPA+. Plus. I don't know what model we have yet. Like I said, I'm just opening this for the, for the first time here with you guys. So let me put this cover back on. I'm going to pop my SIM in real quick so we can actually get an experience and see what's going on. And I'll show you the whole boot-up sequence. All right, I'm back. It's booting. There was a little red light that came on, the typical indication light that we've seen before. Now, I popped in an AT&T SIM card that I usually use with an LTE device. So, you know, we might get HSPA Plus, I'm not sure. Bit of a slow boot, it looks like. You can kind of see that there's a uh, an indicator bar moving along. I'm guessing and hoping that this is just a one-time thing because it's, again, the first time I've ever powered on the device. Okay, we're back. It looks like it is AT&T. All right. Vita Vas Blackberry. English. Welcome to Blackberry. Now we swipe down according to the uh, swipe left to continue. It's going to connect us to AT&T. Um, yeah, let's skip the, we're going to skip the actual Wi-Fi network part right now. Swipe left. Okay, that was right, I guess. English, United States. I don't know what it's doing right now. Okay, an agreement. You know, I don't have a BlackBerry ID right now, so give me two seconds, I'll create one, and then we'll get back to the video. Okay, I signed in with my ID. Now we're just going through a software update. I have I have the latest version, I guess. Okay, great. Essential gestures. What are we going to learn here? Tutorial on how to navigate. Swipe left. While in an app, touch the edge of the glass and slide your finger down to see more options. There you go. We have an option to start an emergency call. 
To leave this setup app, touch the bottom and slide your finger up. Yay, we're finally out of the tutorial. Set up email in BlackBerry Hub, that's over here. I'll do that real quick. Um, actually, you know what? I don't have a fake email address. Let me try to sign in and uh, we'll try to, let's see. We'll skip. Okay, so you get your alerts in the hub, okay? So you get you can see your emails. I'm um, this is at any time. Notifications, and this comes from BBM as well as I'm not sure what that says or why. As well as uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Foursquare, calls, everything is always over there. You just you just swipe and you're there. So that little slide up there leaves us, you know, takes us right back to the home screen. Here we have apps. What can we see here? Blackberry World, that's where all of the that was a weird animation. All the movies, music, and apps are. Angry Birds is there, LinkedIn is there. Top albums. Bruno Mars is up in there. Top movies. We've got Ted, that's a good one. And then some TV episodes. And of course you can search. So again, swipe up and you're out. And swipe right and you're over here to your apps again. Let's see. If you guys know me on Twitter, I'll quickly sign in and we'll show you that app. One sec. And we're back. Here's Twitter. Uh, pretty basic. At connect, discover me. Everything that you uh, usually see on an Android or an iOS uh, application. Again, swipe up and you're out. Swipe left, and you're automatically getting in there. You can see I was already showed my Twitter notifications for privacy reasons. Let's just try to leave that off the screen for now. In any case, so say we're in Twitter, though. If I swipe left, we get nothing. Swipe up, and we exit. Swipe down, and you get the additional uh, menu, so you get settings. And that's it. Okay, so we're out. Now we can go to BlackBerry World. Swipe left, we get to Notification Center. I wonder why, or it's called BlackBerry Hub. I wonder why that didn't show up during Twitter. Swipe down, we've got the uh, other options there. So that's sort of like hitting the menu button on Android. You've got zero download, scan barcode uh, for finding an, an app. And you're out again. So let's check out the browser real quick. Again, we're doing this together here, so I hope that I'm uh, covering as much as I can. Looks like you got your bookmarks right there. Here's the keyboard for the first time. Technobuffalo.com. First time I didn't want to load exactly. Okay, so here we go. We're on Techno Buffalo. The page is really quick and snappy. Let's click an article. Real fast. Again, I'm not even on Wi-Fi right now. What was that? It seemed to have gone black a little bit. So I guess we can't kind of go back and get that menu, but it looks like it'll play videos right inside the browser. Swipe down. Uh, we just see the top bar there. And swipe out, and it's always sort of live. So if we come back, it's always live according to them. Media error, it's loading very slowly. Sweet. So we'll go back again to the home page. We can see that it looks like this is supported. Nope, our top bar is not supported. Uh, but again, it looks like it was loading articles pretty quickly before. Everything is always in action. Let's see if they have any preloaded videos for us. None. I'm guessing the same goes for music. Nothing there. Okay, so you can always buy videos and music. Now let's show. I want to show you the camera really quick because that's one of the cool things that Rim did here, or BlackBerry now, as I should say. Taking pictures, it's really quick. Now, if we want, we could change the mode. We're on normal right now. We can go to burst. And I presume it took a bunch of pictures, and then it went back to normal. Now here's the one where Rim's been talking about, you can, get, you can go back in time. So say you take a picture, you hear that? There's a couple clicks. You can go back in time and see the actual progression of the film. So let's do this again where we have some movement. And for example, this would be great if somebody uh, you know, doesn't smile in your picture. Whoa. Okay, so that's a good one. See, my finger got in the way. But if we jump back in time, it's not in the way anymore. And there it comes in. So we would want to save this image instead, and we would just hit the checkbox there. Now we can exit again by doing that, and again, here we go. 
back to our notifications in our hub at all times. Now from the lock screen, you can see notifications here. It looks like I have an alarm. You can slowly pull up on the screen and it kind of just reveals the contacts or rather all the applications. So here, well, as with most phones, you might have to hit the power button first just to get here. With the power button off, you can actually unlock the device just by swiping up. So that's pretty neat. And before I forget, let me show you text messages. And I don't know why it's in another language right now. But we'll hit compose. I want to show you the keyboard. So I can start with hey. Now you can see words start to complete. Hey, what's it already knows that. So I just toss it up. Do you see that? And I could toss up up. And then I could toss up man. Hey, what's up, man? Or I could, what's up, man? Add a little smiley face or a little crying guy. What else do we have in here? A little airplane. So pretty cool. Um, you know, it's a great keyboard so far. I've just played with it for 10 seconds on camera with you guys. I'll use it more. This will be shipped out to John. He's going to do a full review. So thanks, everybody, for checking this out real quick with me. Again, this is a BlackBerry Z10 from RIM, or BlackBerry now. And my name's Todd Hazleton with Techno Buffalo.